The thing is that I'm completely aware that talking about minerals or crystals or, or chakras or these sorts of things uh, sound like Western, New Age, mumbo jumbo for a lot of people. And I kind of understand why is that. But I also think that a lot of these so-called beliefs have really deep roots uh, based on really deep knowledge and observations. And I also think that the human mind and humans are capable of, of achieve and create the greatest things in the world. But also we are able to destroy pretty much everything. And the only thing what differentiates this, uh, that's the intention. Uh, and I think like crystals or any objects, not necessarily have any magical attribute, but helps the, the human mind to focus. Because if we focus on this, the right intention, that's when we are capable of doing great things. So Amethyst is connected to the, to the crown chakra. Um, it's, it's really interesting because even its color, this purplish violet color, has the highest frequencies of the seven main colors. And, and it's basically what, it's, it's what it symbolizes for me, the connection between me or we and something higher than ourselves. Uh, some people call it, call it God or the universe or the source, whatever you call it. But the point is, uh, Amethyst symbolizes this connection Compared to the previous EPs, compared to Emerald or Ruby, Amethyst, I would say it's more like pure, more uplifting to me because Emerald had some more melancholic vibe, a little bit of more mystical things. And the Ruby EP had a little bit more darker things. And but I would say Amethyst is definitely some pure joy and some pure uplifting. The new Sunilux sound, I would say it's a little bit more slowed down um, and it's a little bit more modest. I try to use less elements, but I try to polish them much more. So, so even with, with less tool in my hands, I try to achieve exactly the same impact. Uh, and that's quite a challenge sometimes. But I think I still do the same things that I always did. I would say it's still really melodic, uplifting dance music. Definitely something for the dance floors. Um, it just, it's just a little bit fr more fresh and different. In my track called The Future, I try to bring back those early 2000s uh, kind of dance music vibes, where there were some female spoken word vocals and some huge arpeggio melodies. Um, <laughs> it's funny, but I, I, I love those tracks. And uh, this is kind of where the inspiration came from. The second track of the EP is called The Light. And it's, it's so uplifting. And it's probably the transiest track uh, in the past half year for me. Um, it's so uplifting and it's all about the triplets. I love triplets. The rhythm is tin, 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 tin. It's just like, it works so good. Um, yeah, I love it. And the last track of the EP is a collaboration again with my good friend from Hungary, Kiss. And the track is called Janada. And the basic idea was uh, we, we found that really nice flute kind of sample um, and we tried to build something around it uh, and the whole thing became so organic because of it, because there's literally uh, a live instrument in it. So I think that's why it is so special. I would say my favorite track of the EP is The Future, because I think that's probably one of the finest examples of uh, this kind of fusion between the old Sunilax and the new one because it has definitely those kind of classic Sunilax trancy vibes, but still it's something really fresh. 
One of the most exciting news for me this year that, that I'm gonna play at the Gorge uh, in Seattle in July because I have so many great memories of that place. I played there in 2017 for the first time and it's pretty much a life-changing weekend, that's how I would describe. And I just can't wait to go back and repeat it. This year you can expect a lot more music from me and it's because you might already know it, but my first album ever is on the way finally. <laughs> I still can't believe it, but it's happening. Um, there's gonna be a lot more new tracks on it. And the Amethyst EP is basically the third EP from the album. album. And it's just so exciting. I can't wait to show you all the tracks and all this and this beautiful project I've been working on for quite a while now. So exciting times ahead. Um, stay tuned and let's talk about the details in the next interview.